Hey guys, my name is Nova, this is Film Express, and today we're going to be talking about the long-awaited Illumination adaptation of the Super Mario Bros. movie. Guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet today. The Super Mario Bros. movie is a visually spectacular, fan-service-oriented film that really doesn't concern itself too much with the plot. And I think that's really what holds me back from loving this film. Sure, it may be aesthetically the most Super Mario Bros thing we've had in years, if ever. Just because it looks like the game and it has some fantastic visuals, it doesn't mean that they captured the essence of Super Mario. In fact, to me, they completely missed the mark on capturing what makes Super Mario great. Sure, an argument can be made that the original games were never really about the story. But there was some lore sprinkled in and if you know if you really dig enough you can find a story there. In fact, you know some of the later games have really managed to put Mario and Luigi through some phenomenal arcs and the stories have been pretty incredible. It really feels like here Illumination tackled the Super Mario Bros movie in a way that's targeted directly for kids but it also really really only is banking on as many easter eggs and fan service moments as possible you know as soon as the trailer dropped months and months ago a lot of people were very excited me included you know based on what i saw this looked like it could have been an incredible film but everyone knows what happened after that we all heard chris pratt's mario voice and everyone was extremely worried about how that would turn out and you know what seeing it now it is a very very disappointing performance from chris pratt because he is not putting really any effort at all into capturing that iconic super mario voice that we have all grown to love you know like i said in every single scene in almost every single frame of this movie you can find an easter egg or a nod to the early games or any part of the super mario series and for that you know i applaud illumination for attempting to go that route but in attempting to do that, in attempting to fill like a quota of Easter eggs per minute that they can add, they completely neglected to have any type of interesting plot or really set up any type of high stakes for this for this world or for these characters. In fact, a lot of this felt super rushed to me. It really felt like they were on like a 90 minute timer. They really couldn't go a single minute over. They sacrificed a lot of plot or character moments just in order to have a cool sequence or a cool Easter egg or the Mario Kart sequence or things like that, which ultimately, you know, if you really want to break them down, they really add nothing to the overall story other than checking a box of an Easter egg or fan service moment where they know a lot of kids are going to see that Mario Kart moment and they're going to applaud. They're going to see Rainbow Road and they're going to get excited, but it doesn't make for a great film. I really thought they did Luigi so dirty as a character. Sure, he's player two. He's the sidekick. He's, you know, he's not the iconic Mario. As far back as history goes, Luigi's had some great, great character moments in the in the video games, you know, over the past 20 30 years and i feel like here they really kind of just cheapened his value but i really feel like that is not in touch with the actual lore of the super mario bros another thing that i found pretty problematic and a waste of actual runtime minutes in this film is that they made mario out to be some kind of clumsy idiot it's interesting because in the first couple scenes, they set him up as very able to get around. He's good at parkour, he's good at traversal, he's good at jumping around and, and making his way through the city to get to his end goal. By the time that Luigi gets kidnapped and then he meets Princess Peach and they're about to set off on this journey, they forget that they set up Mario as this guy who can do all this. Instead, we have like a five minute training sequence where Princess Peach is teaching Mario how to traverse and how to jump and how to parkour and how to use the power ups of the world, which in my opinion, was just a waste of time to me it would have been so much more interesting if he had this inherently within him not something he had to learn you know i'm not the biggest super mario fan but i did grow up with the games actually you know when i was three or four years old i had the original nintendo and that was the first video game i ever played was the super mario bros duck hunt super mario 64 was a huge part of my life growing up and then super mario odyssey the most recent one it was just a fantastic fantastic video game i may not be the demographic for a film like this especially made by a studio like illumination but i can call out a great movie or a bad movie when i see one and the super mario bros movie is unfortunately just not a great film a lot of people will find enjoyment in seeing these easter eggs seeing these characters and this world come to life finally look Look, especially when you're going to compare this film to the 90s Super Mario Bros movie. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that film, guys. That is one of the worst films of all time. But in my opinion, 
the new Super Mario Bros. movie while capturing some of the essence of what made the games and the world of Super Mario great is on that same level of kind of neglecting to really care about the plot and the characters and the lore in a way that feels super neglectful and it feels like a failure in my honest opinion. Another problem I had, you know, they spend a lot of time giving Easter eggs or fan service moments to things that really don't show up in the game that often. They neglected to have one of the most iconic favorite characters in the whole series with Yoshi. You know, kind of neglecting to include Yoshi in this or even have like a hint of a green egg somewhere in the in the whole movie really feels like a missed opportunity. And you know what? Maybe I'm just being super nitpicky and maybe they're going to introduce Yoshi in a sequel or something. But to me, you know, if if they've really jam packed as many Easter eggs and references and nods to the original games in this movie as they could, another mention of Yoshi or a moment with Yoshi would not have hurt. And it really would have elevated the quality of the film and shown that the writers actually have a love and respect for the material. The Super Mario Bros. movie is really only focused on giving fans as many wink wink nudge nudge moments as they can. Fan service was the only intention here. And it's kind of distracting you from noticing that this is barely a movie, it's barely a plot. And a lot of the characters like Donkey Kong or even Bowser or Luigi, it's unfortunate because they are not shown in a way that feels true to the source material. There were a couple of great sequences in this, you know, when it comes to traversal sequences, there are moments that it feels like you're watching a game play out in the best quality possible. This is like a high definition 4K, extremely well put together 3D version of the Super Mario Bros traversal that you've come to expect from the series because the games are really about that at the end of the day. And those sequences are cool, sure, but at the end of the day, it doesn't excuse how rushed the plot is and how quickly scenes move from scene to scene, location to location, without really focusing on any of the journey there. It's always about the destination. When I really think that if you break it down, the Super Mario games are always about the journey. So ultimately, when it comes to the Super Mario Bros. movie, guys, I was not a fan. I gave it like a very, very low rating. It's a one star out of five. And it's one of it's one of those films that just feels like a soulless cash grab. And unfortunately, these types of films, they don't work for me. This this movie undoubtedly is a huge success. It's made over a billion dollars worldwide. So we're gonna get another one. I can only hope that there's a lot more care put to plot and to give these characters their time to shine in a proper way in the sequel because we're undoubtedly going to get it so guys that's my review of the super mario bros movie my name is nova this is film express guys please like please subscribe please dislike if you didn't like my review if you didn't like my take on this please let me know what kind of other movies you want me to review because i got a plenty more reviews coming for you guys i've been super busy this past two months but i'm finally getting my groove back and i'm finally getting back into watching movies and making reviews so you're gonna see a little bit more of me coming up okay guys so again this is film express please hit that notification bell guys and i'll catch you guys later see ya